Okay, the round of 32 is upon us, and we're going to be arriving at the end here before you know it. So let's enjoy it while it lasts. Quarantine City, man. By the way, on an unrelated note, Ben Gibbard from Death Cab for Cutie and the Postal Service, he's been doing these hour-long sets for free on Instagram and then YouTube. And he's going to do it every day for 14 days straight. I think we're a weekend now, uh, but those have been great. So I highly recommend that in addition to your disorderly content. But let's be honest. We've wasted enough time already. This will be the last two-part round of the tournament. After this, I'll be combining uh, the top and bottom brackets into one video until we're finally at our final four and then crown a champion. So let's start chipping away, starting with HBO. We've got the one seed, The Sopranos, squaring off against the eight seed, True Blood. I can't remember how the vote shook out for DSM and Volpe last round, but I know that I voted against True Blood initially, and it's finally gone. The Sopranos gets a clean sweep, three votes, our first show moving on to the Sweet 16. This being made ain't working out the way I thought it would. A lot of responsibilities. Fucking A. What did you think? You're only as fucking smart as this week's lines. One false move and you spend your fucking time chasing it instead of making money. Welcome to the NFL, rookie. Go home, get some sleep. Tomorrow's a new day. Next, The Wire versus Kirby Enthusiasm. Now, I'll say this right from the jump. Sopranos was the only clean sweep in the HBO bracket, and there was only one in the streaming bracket as well, but we'll get to that when we get there. I voted for The Wire. David St. Martin voted for Curb, and Volpe voted for The Wire. The Wire is moving on, setting up a huge matchup between The Sopranos and The Wire, HBO drama royalty. I can't wait to see who wins that one. What about you? You built for this shit? Yeah. You ready to put the work in? You got heat? Moving on, Boardwalk versus True Detective. And I was outvoted here. Boardwalk Empire, unfortunately, is out. True Detective is moving on. Not my choice, you know, but I'm not blindsided either. I know True Detective is a real a real juggernaut in this bracket. And it's amazing, too, because the third season I thought was pretty good. Second season's kind of hated on. Uh, but the first season's so strong that it's it's carried it past some really big matchups. Real testament to what True Detective built with that first season. Okay. I need you to be at Amelia Street between 18th and 19th. In 90 seconds. You got it? You got it? Amelia. 18th and 19th. 90 seconds, motherfucker. Do it right there. And who will they be facing? Modern HBO matchup, Westworld versus Game of Thrones. And Thrones is advancing. Thanks to David St. Martin and myself. Thrones versus True Detective. We've got some really major matchups coming up. I'm very excited for the Sweet 16. And honestly, the same can be said about the streaming services. So let's just jump right into that, shall we? Stranger Things versus Fleabag. I'll explain my reasoning here because I already know that some people will be upset about this one. Uh, Stranger Things beating BoJack was a very tough decision for me. Very tough. But I went with Stranger Things by an inch. And by that same logic, I think I would have picked BoJack over Fleabag if they were facing off head-to-head. -head. So I had to pick Stranger Things over Fleabag as well. DSM voted with me. Volpe voted against me. And here we are. The one seed is advancing to the Sweet 16. A shadow grows on the wall behind you, swallowing you in darkness. It is almost here. What is it? What if it's the Demogorgon? Oh, Jesus, we're so screwed if it's the Demogorgon. It's not the Demogorgon. An army of troglodytes charge into the chamber. Troglodytes. Told you. <laughs> And we'll just continue down the list. Peaky Blinders versus Narcos. I honestly had trouble picking here, but I ultimately went with Peaky Blinders. Well, the other two went with Narcos, and I was outvoted. But I'm fine with that because I was really, you know, I wasn't sure about what I wanted anyway. I did vote Peaky Blinders, but it didn't matter in the end, and Narcos advances. Todavía no has oído mi propuesta. ¿Y lo que tengo que decir? Pues lo primero que van a hacer es salir de aquí inmediatamente y no volver nunca más. Ah, sí. ¿Y lo segundo? ¿Qué? Lo segundo. Pues lo segundo no hay nada. Es solo lo primero. And how about this one? Black Mirror versus Big Mouth. And here we go. This is it. The lone sweep 
of the streaming bracket, Black Mirror takes it by a landslide. Walton? I'm pretty sure I can fix this. Um, uh, Walton, are you sure about this? I'm sure. To last me, can you patch me through to Daly? Patch you through? Uh, hey, Daly, can you hear me? Walton? And then the final matchup from the top bracket, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel versus Glow, the massive 15 over 2 upset from last round, and it did receive one vote, but not enough to knock off the juggernaut. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is moving on to the Sweet 16 as a 10 seed. I mean, we don't even really know who you are yet. What does that mean? Well, I mean, what kind of comic are you? Are you a planter or a stalker? Stalker. Will you tell one-liners, stream of consciousness? Stream of consciousness. Personal, political? Personal tinged by political. Okay, well, I guess we do know who you are. Well, we have to figure out what you'll say. Yes, good. Here, I brought this. I don't want to read your diary. It's not my diary. I don't care what your first time felt like. It's not my diary. It's a notebook I write thoughts down in. That's a fucking diary. No, it's not. I don't want to read the word ponies over and over and over. I write down thoughts for jokes. Oh, I do wish Mitzi Gaynor was my very best friend. Just read, please. Number 36. And that's me. And that's it for now. We'll be back to cut the bottom bracket down to eight and complete our Sweet 16 soon enough. Things are really starting to heat up. Thank you all for listening. I feel like there's more content out there than ever these days, but also more of a need for it. So hopefully it balances out. I'll see you guys soon. My name is Nick Risner. Peace.